What is going on boys and girls? It is Giulino back here with a, another video. I am back from Spain. Um, got back on Friday. Currently recording this on Sunday. So we're back into it. Fresh videos every other day like we usually do. And today we're going with another FIFA Legends video. Fun now you can see Marcio Azevedo and Christian Pasquato. Two ridiculous cards in past FIFAs. And obviously, well, you can see on the screen what formation we're going with. And we're going with the five... 2-1-2, two, two. because what's the point of having someone like Marcio Azevedo? Play him left back. You want to play him left wing back. You want him up there in the, in the attack. But let's go for the goalkeeper first off. It is the 81 rated inform Fraser Forster from Southampton. 80 diving, 86 reflexes, 85 handling, um, 80 kicking and 82 positioning. Very, very decent keeper. And he is lanky as fuck at 6 foot 7 with a 5 star weak foot, which is a very nice thing to see. Um, we'll start off with the right wing back. We shall. Is he in form? Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Um, he's had a man in the match right wing back, and now he's got himself an in form um, 93 pace, 90 dribbling, 78 shooting, 85 passing, and 80 physical, 5 foot 9, um, high medium micro, it's 4 star weak foot, and 4 star skill moves. You know, he's not the most conventional right wing back or right back, but. I think right wing back, he, play, he plays brilliantly. So he used his man of the match in the Rainbow Squad, and he was phenomenal. So I think this 84, which is better rated, is going to absolutely smash it. Uh, first centre back we go for is Chris Smalling from Man United. 7 7 pace, 84 defending, and 84 physical. You know, for any English centre back here you would like. In the middle, we go for the legend Fernando Hierro. I've actually bought him and put him into my main team because he is a monster. 70 pace, 72 dribbling, 89 defending, 70 passing, and 83 physical. Um, you know, absolute, absolute monster. Um, 601 games for Real Madrid, which is just so good to see. He is a monster. Scored himself, um, got himself a goal in five games. 118k for a legend centre back, 89 rated. You cannot complain about that whatsoever. And the last centre back is Rakitsky, um, quite a well-known centre back on FIFA, just because he's probably the best player that plays for Shakhtar Donetsk in defence. 72 plays, 81 defending, and 72 uh, 78 physical. Sorry, with 72 dribbling, 75 uh, passing as well. So not too shabby. And obviously, first player we go for left wing back Marcio as Evado, um, former five-star skiller, now currently only sitting there with four, 81 pace, 75 dribbling, 65 shooting, 72 defending, 69 passing, and 76, uh, sorry, 79 physical, um, like I said, uh, four-star skill, was two-star weak foot, five for eight, I'm just looking back on his cards from the last few years, obviously he, he skipped FIFA 15-14, uh, um, where um, obviously the, we got rid of, I think they got rid of the license in the Brazilian league, when he was playing for Botafogo in FIFA 13, I think it was, and I think that was a card he had five star skills. Um, you know, ridiculous 87 pace, 73 dribbling, um, just a mental card. The year before, again, Botafogo 89 pace, 76 dribbling, 70 defending. This guy has just been a ridiculous, ridiculous card on every FIFA, and now he's over in um, uh, what's it, Croatia, Ukraine, doing his uh, bits and pieces over there. Two centimeters we go for are both Italians, and they both play for um. You know this, we've got the uh, 86 Marquisio, 77 pace, 83 dribbling, 74 shooting, 76 defending, 83 passing, and 75 physical. With the 4-star skill moves, he's like the general in the midfield. And then we've got his protege, in a sense, of the lower-rated Italian midfielder from... Um, Juventus, Doraro, 75 pace, 76 dribbling, 74 defending, 73 passing, and 79 physical. For a non-rare, he still looks monstrous. He's 5 foot 11 with high, high work rates, and Marcus here is 5 foot 11 with high, high work rates as well. So that midfield should be pretty sick. Next player, second FIFA legend, Christian Pasquato. Inform card, I actually was looking for something else. Um, I don't know what I was looking for now, but I came across this and realised he had an inform Cam, and I was like, um, well, FIFA legend, I found a reason to use him. Um, 86 pace, 82 dribbling, 72 shooting, 77 passing, 5 for 8, medium low work rate, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. Um, it costs 20k, and I don't actually know how much he is worth now. I wonder if I've lost any money on him. Uh, yes, 9.5k. I lost a shitload of money on him. Uh, that's annoying. Ah, uh, well, I'm kind of glad I got more coins. Um, I'm just looking back on his cards, like last year. He was play, he played for he had four different cards. Um centre forward for Juve, centre forward for the team he plays for now, which is them. Um and then two left wing cards. I think one was for um I'm actually too sure, but I think they're both Serie B teams. Um obviously in the years prior he had ridiculous cards. Uh, back on FIFA. 
Uh, 12, he had a um, centre forward card, non rare, 86 pace, 82 dribbling uh, for Juventus and Torino. Um, he had a ridiculously decent. Uh, 15, 14 left wing half Juventus, 82 pace, 82 dribbling, uh, 71 shooting. So he has been a very, very solid player throughout the years and uh, not gonna lie, quite a beast. Um, final two strikers, well, the final two players, the strikers, we've gone for a double Brazilians from the um, Russian league. We've gone for the team of the season, John Athas, 75 pace, 82 dribbling, 90 shooting, 70 passing, and 87 physical. Look at this guy, six foot three. Yes, he's only got two star skill moves, but he is paired up. With a very nice when I can get to the striker spot. Oh my god, I'm on the mat. Very, very nice five star skiller in form of Vettinho. He appeared in my skill squad about a month or so ago. He's got himself an in form 81 pace, 84 dribbling, 83 shooting, 72 passing, 5 foot 11, 4 star weak foot, and like I said, five star skill is 21k. So he wasn't cheap, but he's um he's a pretty decent player. Uh, it was normal card. Let's see how as well as informed us. Let's see how well these two for legends do. Let's go in with this very skillful squad because you've got both full backs or wing backs have both got four star skill moves. Mid three of the four, uh, th sorry, two of the three midfielders got um, four star skill moves and one uh, the striker's got five star skill moves. So quite skillful. Let's get into the games and uh, let's get our first opponent, shall we? Right, boys, into game number one. That is definitely not a 10k squad. His team name's 10k. He's got Valdez in there. Um, Bellerin, Bailly, Team of the Season, Nacho, um, Albert Moreno, Mo um, Mbappe, Lottin, Kane, um, Sun, and Deli Ali, Player of the Month, or, or the Purple Cards, the Team of the Season, Sigerson, and um, the Man of the Match, Cam, Henrik Mkhitaryan. So that's definitely not 10k. So if you got over 10k, I'll be, I'll be shocked. But let's get into the game and uh, let's hopefully dominate this guy. As everyone loves five at the back. Oh, Storaro, of all people, three minutes in, pops up with the goal. Very nice bit of work between Patino and um, Pasquato to uh, to start off that attack. And just a delicate little finish past Valdez, uh, who, to be fair, is pretty shit on this game. But, uh, yeah, 1-0, four minutes played. And Storaro, of all people... The five-star skill moves of Vitinho got the space. The beast, that is Pasquato, got the goal. Very nice bit of strength from him to hold off. Uh, I think it was Nacho, by the looks of it. Yeah, holds him, holds him off nicely. And a top finish into the back of the net. 2-0, just 11 minutes played. Oh, is he going to rage quit? Are we getting rage? No, no rage. He's not raged. We're just going to carry on. Just use the entire pause for no reason. Oh my god, Marcio Azevedo. I'm so irritated you didn't score. He fucking destroyed the entire defence. Uh, who are we going for the free well, the corner? Um, we'll go with Pasquato. I don't like right foot players on this side, but we're going to go with it. Right into the keeper. Another corner. That was a bit of a shit decision by me, to be honest. What's Azevedo's? Pretty shit, but Rakitsky. I know he's a centre back, but if he can hit this. Peach, nah. Oh, Pasquato, he's got such a burst of pace and he's scored. I think he classes as a keeper's own goal, but he did all that work with his pace, with his dribbling. Got away from the two defenders running at him. His shot did hit. I know he counted as his. His shot hit um, Valdez on the way in, but he wasn't saving that. 3 0, and it's only 25 minutes played. Great save by that lanky Fraser Forster. Keeping the ball out of the net. He's got a corner though. Ah, it's cleared away. Nicely done. Right, it's half time. We are still 3 0 up. Every time I've scored, this guy's stopped playing. And I feel like he's either going to just rage, you know, or he's just going to put the controller down and not play. But he just continues to play on. And it's. It's irritating because it takes so long. I'm thinking I'm going to get a rage bit and he just doesn't. Um, the good thing about this, though, is what you see on the screen right now. I'm beating him and his team name's Class on Grass. I hate people to do that. Like, if you think you're good at the game, yeah, that's fair enough. But 
this guy really is not that good. And look at the stats in this game. I've had four shots, three on target. He's had three and three. 57% possession to me. 88% pass into his 81. So we have been a lot better and very dominant in this game over, uh, compared to this guy. So second half should be interesting. Let's hopefully keep this guy in. I don't have to eat my words. And I don't even play the second half because he's rage quit. What a result. What a result. Let's get our second opponent. Right, boys, opponent number two. Oh, that's a very nice score. He's got Butland in net. Uh, Walker, Otamendi. Oh, well, the non-upgraded, well, uh, non-downgraded, I should say, sorry. Uh, company, Inform Wilhelms, Team of the Season, John Joe Shelby, uh, Dembele, uh, Inform Tunstra, um, Ericsson, T Inform Dwight Gale, and that Team of the Season, Jorgensen, is a bastard of a player to play against. Um, and that's quite a nice combination of strikers, one tall, one small. Well, let's find out how this team game's going to go. Compared to this, if it's anything like the last game, we'll, uh, we're going to smash it. Let's go. Oh, Pasquato with a lovely chip through ball. Jonathan's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He stupidly brought Butland out. And when you've got a striker with 90 shooting, you need to take that shot there and then. He had Walker on him. Just... Prop, like just pushing, shoving, still puts the ball in the back of the net. 1 0 in 8 minutes. And is this going to be the second race? No, no, he's making subs. He's taken off Jorgensen and he's taken off Gale for Rav Ravek. And if it's that team of the season, it's Guadero. I'm fucked, but who the fuck's Ravek? Oh, Jonathan, he nicked the ball of the defender and cracked the bar. For someone that's only got 75 pace and two-star weak foot, he's a decent striker. Oh, Pasquato just absolutely done over Walker. Oh, just, it was annoying it was a going to the team, you're not um, Jonathan. Oh. oh that was a easy... Easy goal. Vitinho was up against, I think, company. Hit one McGinney spin, hit the other, completely dodged both defenders. In, you know, three on one. Walker doesn't get the ball from Pasquato, and that's just a, such an easy finish into the back of the net. 2 0. This team is insane. And he's just going to score an own goal. So I'm going to shush him because I'm a dick. I'm going to take that own goal. 3 0. You know, you never. Never say no to an own goal. And you never say no to shush someone when they're, well, when you can. I was gonna, just going to score on goals all day, isn't he? Yep, another one. May have to fast forward this bit up into the way. Hope you enjoyed that last four minutes of fast-forwarded play of him scoring six own goals and passing it around the back. Um, he messaged me to say, shush me again and no more goals, like no coins. I don't want the coins. I want a good game of FIFA. That's what I messaged him back. So, you know, leave. That would be brilliant. But I know he's not going to. So I'm probably just going to cut the rest of this game out. Come back to us. Oh, no, I don't need to. He's left. That's like, fuck that. That third game. Let's go get it and let's hopefully get a decent opponent. Right, boys, third opponent. Please be a good player. He's got in, um, wow, he's got team in the season. Neuer in net. Pischek, Tar, um, Socrates, Wendell, um, Renato, Castro, Gustavo, Dembele. Uh, the team of the season unlock Pulisic and an inform Javier Hernandez. Looks like he's just like a pack pool Bundesliga team. By the, looks, by the looks of the players he's got, they look like they've all been uh, pack pulled. Um, funny thing, that last guy came against, uh, um, you know, scored six own goals. His game attack is, funnily enough, FIFA champ of Epic. So, uh, that's a very good game attack considering what he did. But let's get into this, this game. Hopefully a competitive one and uh, hopefully a full 90 minutes. Oh, that was a great bit of pressure by Rakitsky. 
keeping Pulisic um, very off balance. Oh, Christian Basquato puts it past Neuer. I wasn't expecting to score like a a fabulous one, well, not fabulous goal, like a, a, a exquisite and like a, a, a sick goal against the team. This is ninety seven Neuer. I was expecting that kind of goal. I play through into the box and just strip it past. Surprisingly enough, though, this guy has been very, very decent, very good on the attack. He just hasn't put his chances away, and that is probably one of our only chances of the game, actually. But nice to be one nil up again. I, oh my god, that turn from Pasquato was mad. That was a fantastic turn. Pulled off a free kick from a, a dirty tackle by Pishek, actually. I always press the wrong button. I'm going to go with a left foot. I'm going to go with Rakitiski. I'm going to bash this with uh, with this guy. There we go. That's what I want to do. Chance of going in, zero to none. Chance of going in, minus zero to none. Because that was dreadful. Bad idea. Oh, that's another dirty challenge. He kicks it out. Jonathan's big noggin on the ball to Vitinho, who just gets clattered. Um, free kick, Pasquato. Main man of the episode. Ah, oh, straight to the wall. Oh, Marquisiano gets the rebound. <laughs> Off the wall to Vitinho's head into Marquisio's foot. Less than 40 minutes played. Tune it up. This team is ridiculous. Probably because it's five at the back and it's got a stupidly sweaty defence, but I'm not going to complain. Oh, I'm on rage quit number three. This is getting boring. Fourth game. Let's get an opponent. Right, first time ever on my channel. Four opponents. He's got a very sweaty 4 2 3 1. So the squad has got Buffon, Danny Alves, Chiellini, Bonucci, Sandro with an attribute card on, uh, Niangolan, CDM, whose name I can't remember, I think it's like Torreiro or something like that, uh, 86 Salah, 86 Darbala, 86 Insigne, and the striker, Keita Balda, uh, Dow. I think that's his name, Keita Balda, Dow? Sounds about right. Anyway, let's get into the game and uh, hopefully win number four. Oh, Marcelo has I thought he tucked that in the back of the net. We've conceded our first goal of the episode. Fucking hell, man. It's t it, well, it's just ridiculous that I'm saying that. Four games in. I know they've, three of them have all been like half rage quits because they've quit at half time. Dodgy defending, dodgy goalkeeping. A bit irritated that went in, but I'm confident with this team, the way we've been playing, that we can pull it back. Oh, Storaro, what a ball, and how has Jonathan missed that? He is six foot three, Com well, jumping against Danny Alves, and now he's Danny Alves, no slouch, but he's not that tall. How has he let that go over his head? I don't see how that's a penalty. That's a very, very weak penalty call. Oh, I should have stayed down the middle. I was thinking that. Ah, oh, well. 2-0 down. Annoying penalty to concede. Um, but that's just the way it is, really, for FIFA. That's the way it is. Oh, great bit of work for Tino. What a finish to Raro. He is a fantastic non-rare midfielder. He is ridiculous. He's all over the place. Those high, high work rates definitely coming come to play. But what a ball from Vitinho. And a very tidy finish underneath Buffon to make it 2-1. Oh, Marcio, he's just not giving up. He's finally scored. Four games. He's managed to finally get a goal. Ran all the way from left wing back. Bullied his way through the entire defence and put that through. Well, put that into the back of the net with his two-star weak foot, I think he's got. So that's not a bad thing to see. Uh, and, you know, within six minutes in game, we've uh, we've tied it up from 2 down to 2 all. So I'm pretty buzzing about that. Oh, what a save, four-star. Using his big frame to to keep up the shot from Dybala. Does pick himself up a corner.
which goes all the way over to the other side of the pitch, which does call for half time. Very um, end to end game. You know, he's had a lot more shots than me. Seven, I've had three. Even possession, I've had a bit better passing. And um, hopefully, get into the second half, improve the, our shots, and uh, come up with a win. Oh, that was a ridiculous free kick from Dybala. Oh, Mohamed Salah with a delightful finish under the keeper on the inside of the post. That was a very, very nice finish. I thought you could see my defender stop there. I thought he was going to try and cut in, but he went all the way onto his left, his strong foot, and put that ball away. 3-2 down. Legends of legends. What a goal. What a great bit of play from... Uh, Azevedo, ball into the middle, wasn't triple tap like I like, well, like I wanted it, sorry, it was uh, like a double tap cross, missed everyone in the box, and then Pasquato just comes sliding in and puts the ball in the back, and then it makes it 3 all. just three minutes after Salah scores, very end to end. Oh, what a save slash block, whatever that was from Buffon and his defender. Very, you know, tense game at this point now. It's the 86th minute, but that header from Vitinho of all people, the, the little gem, um, really, really good player, puts it into the back of the 87th minute. You know, that's very, very late. He falls into the arms of his, well, extremely, extremely happy teammates after getting that goal. He was the one that had the shot that got us the corner, and it was quite apt that he actually got his first goal, I'm pretty sure, uh, of the episode to uh, hopefully win us this game, but we'll have to wait and find out, won't we? Oh, that was lovely bit of play. Pasquato with another goal. All of that came from, surprisingly, Jonathan, who did brilliantly dribbling in and out of the defenders. A nice stop and fake um, just on the edge of the box to get the ball through to, uh, to Pasquato to make it 5-3 in the 90th minute. That was a great bit of skill, great little bit of dribbling, and a top finish with his left foot into the back of the net. And this team is absolutely ridiculous. Right, boys, there is the team in all of its glory. What a ridiculous, ridiculous team this was to play with. The goal, Fraser Forster was barely even troubled. I could probably put a bronze in goal, and it really wouldn't have mattered. He was, he was decent. Anytime he got, you know, he got... Um, tested he did play very well Alex Oxlade Chamberlain outdid himself the last time I used him one assist in four games he was fantastic played rock solid three set of as well obviously we'll know how beast morning is about 109 games for me so we all know how good he is Hierro is sick Rakitsky was decent Azevedo one goal in five games um he should have actually got an assist but clearly hasn't counted which is a bit irritating um He's played five. He played one extra for me because I originally was going to do this with him and Balotelli. Same formation, just couldn't get, just didn't like the team. But, you know, so I'm glad I changed it to this. Uh, the midfield, Storaro was sick. Four games, two goals. Marquisio has played seven games for me and got himself one goal. I can't remember if that was in this team. Uh, Pasquato was sick. Four games, six goals and one assist. Rad ridiculous for a silver cam. That's absolutely that ridiculous. Uh, he played for a rubbish team and not... Not brilliant league, but he does play for a brilliant nation. Vitinho, one goal and six assists in four games. He was fantastic. And Jonathas, one goal, two assists in four games. He was average, but he was there. He was needed. So he did complete the team. But that has been the video, guys. I hope you have all enjoyed. As always, put some links down in the description below to Twitter and Instagram. Go down there, drop me a follow, drop a like on the video, drop a sub if you're new around here. We're currently sat on 71 subscribers, so we're 29 away from that magic 100, which I'm still away hoping to hit before Christmas, and I'm only in July, which is ridiculous. Until next time, guys, have an awesome day, and I shall see you later. Bye!